What's up everybody, hope for having a good fun. Today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix your iPhone if it is stuck at the recovery mode. Now, depending upon your iOS version, you might find your iPhone stuck at the Apple logo or maybe the black screen. Either way, you won't be able to turn it down to get it back to its normal state. Now, this problem is commonly seen when you are trying to upgrade your iPhone to the next version of iOS or when you are restoring it using iTunes. You may also come across this problem when the storage on your phone gets all consumed up. But don't worry, it's quite easy to get away from. Now guys, the method that I'll be covering in today's video is actually compatible with pretty much all iPhones including the latest iPhone 12 lineup and what's so cool about this method is that you can fix your iPhone without losing any of your data. Now guys the tool that we're going to be using in order to fix our iPhones is actually Reiboot from Tenoshare that works on both Windows and Mac. Now guys I'm going to be sharing with you two methods that will help you fix your Apple devices. The first method is absolutely free but in case that doesn't work for you you can go to the second method that will hopefully fix your issue issues, but that's gonna run you $30. But don't worry, I have a great news for you all. If you use the promo code that I have provided down in the description of this video, you're gonna be able to get 30% off your purchase. On top of that, I'm also gonna be giving away 5 licenses to you people for absolutely free. So all you gotta do to get one is just comment down below and let me know how did you get stuck with the recovery mode problem. Alright, now to download this software, kindly check the very first link down in the description of this video which is going to take you to this page. Let's take a look at some of the features of this software before getting onto the actual process. So with the Reiboot software, you can fix over 150 iOS stuck issues like iOS update stuck issue, frozen screen, disabled screen, blue screen, white screen, boot loop screen and a lot more. You can also fix iTunes backup and restore errors with high success rate and without any data loss. With the software, you can also easily downgrade your iOS beta firmware to the latest iOS version. There's a lot more that the software offers. You can learn more about that by checking their website. All right, so once you install the software on your PC, go ahead and open it up. Next, connect your iPhone with PC. Soon after that, you will find the exit recovery mode option on the VI boot software. Tap on it to boot your iPhone out of the recovery mode. Within a couple of seconds, your iPhone will restart and and you can start using it without any issues. Now, if your iPhone is still stuck at the recovery mode, even after trying out the first method, then that means your iOS firmware has gotten corrupted. But don't worry, you can fix that by installing the latest iOS firmware on your Apple device using the VI Boot software. So just like last time, go ahead and connect your iPhone with your PC. This time around, we're gonna be going with the third option, which says repair operating system. So with this option, you will be able to fix issues like stuck on Apple, logo, recovery mode, black screen, and etc. Tapping on the fix now button, you will be taken to this screen. Over here, you have to select the path where you want to download your iOS firmware. After that, tap on the download button. Now, that's going to take a lot of time due to the huge size of the firmware. Try not to disconnect your iPhone during this process as that can ruin it. Finally, once the firmware package has been downloaded, you will find the repair now button on the VI Boot software. Tap on it and the repairing process will begin. Remember, not to disconnect your iPhone during this stage as that's gonna leave your phone bricked. This process is gonna take a little while so you gotta be patient while it goes on. Finally, once it's done, your iPhone will start booting up again. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions, kind of let me know in the comments down below and yeah, I'll see you all next time.